So in the previous video, we looked at finding a formula for the greatest height. We're now going to look at a formula, or try to derive a formula, for the greatest horizontal distance that the uh, particle will travel, or at least the, part of the horizontal distance that it travels. Okay, so that value of x. So I want a formula that has x equals something in terms of uh, u, theta, um, y, okay? Um, and obviously, for exactly the same reasons as before, we don't want t involved, okay? Because the, uh, the distance will not depend on time here, okay? I want to know that furthest reach that it reaches, that x, okay? It will reach at a particular time, so I don't want t to be there in the formula as a variable. So, it'll reach uh, that value of x uh, when the position, the vertical position of the particle is zero. So this will be zero. So I can pop that equal to zero. So zero equals y plus ut sine theta minus a half gt squared. Now, I'm going to throw everything onto the left-hand side of the equation, okay? And I'm also going to multiply through by 2 to get rid of that fraction. So I'm going to get gt squared minus 2ut sine theta minus 2y is equal to 0. Okay, so this is the uh, equation that I have. Now, I want to eliminate t, don't I? So I want to get, this is a quadratic in t. So if I can solve this quadratic equation to get t equals, I can then substitute it into this, the horizontal position, um, in order to get uh, my x equals. x equals u times t, the uh, solution to this equation, times cos theta. So I'm going to use the quadratic formula to solve this. So t equals minus b, so 2u sine theta, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 4u squared sine squared, theta, take away 4ac, so b squared minus 4ac, so take away 4 lots of g times uh, minus 2y, so plus 8gy square rooted, all over 2a, so 2 lots of g. Now, because time can't be negative, the uh, negative one here can be discounted because the square root of 4u squared sine squared theta plus 8gy will be greater than 2u sine theta because that is 2u sine theta when square rooted, okay, this bit. So if I add some more to it, it'll become larger. So if I've got 2u sine theta take away something that's larger than it, I'll get a negative result, so a negative time. So we can discount the negative time. So time can't be negative. So we've got to have plus there. Now now well, we've got the time, we can then say that x is equal to the horizontal position, so ut cos theta. So in other words, u cos theta times this. So if I'm doing u cos theta times this, I'm going to get 2u sine theta times u cos theta, so 2u squared sine theta cos theta plus u cos theta times that square root, so u cos theta times the square root of 4u squared sine squared theta plus 8gy all over the 2g. And that is my formula for the furthest distance that the, um, or the furthest displacement away from the origin uh, in the x direction that the particle reaches.